But to me, it's a flashback to a much simpler time. I was 14 years old when this bike came out. My brother was 16. I don't know how he managed to do it, but he bought one of these news just a just a uh, kid. And he had a Kirker pipe on it, looked exactly like this, and used to race some road race all over. New England. But uh, they're world class super bikes to this day. 40 years later, they still kick ass. Bill, what are your thoughts about the the, the West Coolies? These are amazing motorcycles, right out of the box. They really uh, they were brought right to the racetrack. Some of them uh, were um, modified heavily, but a lot of them were left stock, and they were fast as hell. I mean, just riding the bike around on the hillside here, beautiful handling, great braking. It's like my ZRX11, but it's uh, 10 years old. Fantastic machine. It's a trendsetter, definitely. As you know, or you may or may not know, Bill is a five-time Isle of Man veteran, uh, multi-time champion in, in, in road racing in many different classes. Uh, did you ever get a chance to race one of these? No, I didn't. And, did you race uh, against them? I did and uh, they were so fast, so torquey. They didn't have to shift them, they left them in gear, you know, whereas, you know, I was stabbing at the shifter on my bike all the time, but these bikes had such linear power, they were super smooth on the short circuits. Even for a big bike, they could get around those short circuits really fast. Did they race these, at, when, when did you, what years did you race the Isle of Man? Oh, that was in, uh, quite a bit later, that was yeah. in the 2018. So they, they, these were like vintage bikes by then, right? Historic by yeah. then, yeah, yeah, but you don't see them. You never see them with this beautiful fairing. This is a trademark fairing. You know, the West, they call it the West Cooley because they hired Suzuki, hired West Cooley, and he went on to become the national superbike champion on a bike just like this. You know, uh, that was super biked, but it still had all this beautiful uh, body work. I mean, it's really, this uh, uh, spoiler trademark is really cool as hell. The, the, the color combo just blows me away on these bikes, and um, this has absolutely been a labor of love. We, uh, Junior and I was like, we can't do this again. We, we actually paid, we paid up big time for both these bikes. This one here, we paid over 5,000 for it, worked on it for months, uh, we did a paint job on it. We had like a $7,000 work order, we sold it for nine. <laughs> you don't have to be a math major to figure out that was a bad idea. Uh, and this one, very similar results, but um, we thought they'd sell for more. We sell these at auction. We sell all our bikes at auction on eBay auction. And sometimes they ring the bell, sometimes they don't, but um, it is what it is. Uh, I don't really, for me, it, it's all worth it just doing what we did today. I know. <laughs> so, you know, we, it, it, we, we just wheeled this out of the showroom, and then Jeff rode up on that. I'm like, oh my God, the two of them running together just yeah. blows my mind to see these bikes together. The, you know, this was not a planned video. Uh, Billy was riding this up, and Jeff had just bought this, and I was riding down the driveway, and I said, I, I, I stopped him, and I was like, when is the next time in our lifetime we'll get a chance to ride two West Coolies together? This is a very, very, very rare motorcycle. We've only had three in the 13 years we've been here doing this. We've sold over 7,000 motorcycles and many GS1000s and many replicas. People make West Cooley replicas that are regular, or what, clones, I guess yeah, they call clone. it. But to have two legit real ones side by side here. This one here has, this is a Pops Yoshimura, actual Yoshimura from that era. Uh, from the early 80s, uh, 79 era Yoshimura. That's not a replica or, or a new one, so it's a really special pipe. And it also has a really cool piece here on this side right here. Check out this. Um, I was told this is an, uh, they would mount a, 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 ge a generator or an alternator to this right here for endurance racing to run the, the bigger lights on it. Did you, did you, did you ever hear anything about that, Bill? I didn't know the story, but I wouldn't be do uh, doubting that. That would be like for Le Mans, where they run 24 yeah, hours. Have you seen this thing? Night. Have you seen this? Yeah, I have, and that's a factory cover. I was wondering what that was for, and I guess they mounted something on it that would, that would create more, more electricity. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. So, this, so for a second generator to run the overnight lights, which were huge and big, uh, big draw on the current. I, I thought this was like a structural member to increase structural rigidity around the countershaft sprocket or, or protect it, but it's, uh, uh, somebody commented, when you guys comment on the video, sometimes we're learning every day, man. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's a, that's the coolest part about this. The more I know about bikes, the more I, I realize how little I know, and every day you learn something cool about it. But um, I don't know what the production stats were on these, but you just don't see them out there on the road much anymore, you know? There weren't many to begin with, and there are way fewer today. And to see two in one place at, at one time, and they're both running beautifully. You so, know. You were wringing the neck a little bit here, and so was I. And we were dead even. It was beautiful. Yeah, I, yeah, I had I had to open it up and, and, and uh, let let you guys hear this thing eat, so to speak. But they're going. We just detailed them. The manic mechanic did a final tune on them. Both these bikes are sold. 
Um, we test and test ride and, and like detail our bikes to the nines. The manic mechanic would do some final tuning on these. Uh, matter of fact, he was here till eight o'clock last night working on them, and I came in at seven thirty. He was still working on them, and uh, you know I'm sure he went home for the night, but uh, at some point, but he he, uh, he got them dialed right in. They're going up to the third floor of the museum where uh, the new owners are going to come pick them up. So if you want to come check them out, this one's going to be here for a couple of months. The guy's not coming to pick it up for a little while. That one's shipping tomorrow, but it'll be here. If you want to come visit the museum, uh, we have two football field long rooms full of classic motorcycles like this. We have an awesome collection of vintage classic uh, two-strokes, and we had Billy's TZ 750. We've got a lineup of uh, really sweet uh, 500s. I think one of the biggest collection of two-stroke 500s I've ever seen, but come check it out. We're open all weekend, 10 to 3. Thanks for watching. God bless America. Huh?